but uh yeah so that is definitely the reason good morning boys and girls and welcome back to the channel if you guys are new to the channel i am senate steve and well today i was gonna make a little bit of a run down to pick something up but as soon as i hooked it up to the avalanche here we're having light issues now as you can tell the sun is starting to set and i did not really feel like driving this thing down anywhere with only having one brake light so when you come in here obviously i turn the parking lights on not a single light on the trailer has actually lit up as you can tell no marker light blah 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 we've got no light no lights on the back no light no marker light and i don't want to make a six hour trip especially going into the nighttime not having any light so we do actually have one brake light that works which is actually the left turn signal um, i'll turn the four ways on because that'll be the easiest way to show you but as you can tell we've only got one turn signal that works and for some reason this turn signal is not working at all so let's just jump in the car here and uh, we're going to run to harbor freight get us a light kit get some extra lights and uh, get this thing back together also we're going to go ahead and get some self-tapping screws because we're going to toss the fenders and everything back on it's time to be legal guys let's stop messing around so let's just get to harbor freight get what we need and get this thing up to snuff trailer lights all righty this should get us back up in business let's go all righty well we've gotten ourselves back to the house here and uh well like i said this light over here does not work so we went ahead we got one light that we're going to be able to toss in here the other side it does work but i believe that i'm having an issue with a wire that's from the front to the rear because the parking lights aren't work working um, the other thing that I sort decided I would do is I'm going to go ahead and toss a few more uh, amber lights on here. It's not going to hurt. Plus, I actually would like to put these on the back because the ones that were on the back are absolutely no longer on the back. So I'm going to probably put like one here and then one up here. I'm going to probably trim this straight across and then uh, it'll go down. Um, this was just a platform that was there for the actual ramps that were originally for this trailer that slid in and then slid out. But we obviously know that is all banged up and messed up so we're just going to go ahead and put two leds or two of these running lights like one here one there and then along the side we're going to do one in the side and then one up at the front one up in the front one in the, right before the wheel and uh this thing should be all lit light up and ready to rock ready to roll I'm trying to get myself as legal as possible this year i'm kind of tired of having little silly traffic stops and things like that so why not do it now so let's uh let's start the ball all right, well, you can see we've got a good functional turn signal here. Um, that is obviously your red wire. So we'll remember red is left-hand turn and uh, blue and white are gonna be trailer brakes, which I'm gonna go ahead and pull back through once I get through here, because I believe the white one was the one that's actually broke, as you can tell by the coloring of that actual wire. So we're gonna have to probably chase that back. I do know the trailer brakes did work on this, so We'll have to get that sorted out, but we'll sort that out here in a little bit. Um, green is going to be your constant power, as you can tell there. Red, like I said, turn signal. And then I'm going to assume the brown here is going to be your right turn. Yep, so brown is going to then be your right turn. So let's go ahead and get that green. Then brown is right turn. Red is left turn. All right, let's get our wiring kit out and uh, get this thing crimped together and in place where it needs to be. All right, well, you can tell in there where it melted and this was laying against the frame that that was pretty much our trailer issue, um, our wiring issue. That's the only wire that I couldn't get out of the loom. There's another hot spot where you could tell it definitely melted on something. So I'm definitely glad that we're doing these wires and it's definitely in due time and they definitely need it. So I'm glad I'm actually doing it now. So hundred bucks well spent. I'm glad I was able to pull the wire out there. I wish I would have seen it. I would have just replaced the green wire from here straight up to the neck, but we're gonna have all new wires to the trailer. So let's just do it that way. And uh, we'll know that we'll be good to go down the road safely. 
turn signal. Moment of truth. Moment of truth. Bam, we got a turn signal. All right, let's do the other side. Make sure we've got our right turn signal. And then we are off to pick up what we need to pick up. Now I'm freaking excited. And this is actually probably something different than I originally said we were gonna pick up, but we've got to pick this up nonetheless. Bam, we've got a turn signal, perfect. So we got running lights, we've got brake lights, everything's good to go. I gotta run and pick something up that's about an hour and a half away. You guys might know if you're a, you know, a fan of the channel and been on the channel for a while. So let me get everything cleaned up, get the wheels tossed it back on here. And uh, I also, I'll come back and then I'll show you how we ran it underneath the trailer and everything, but I gotta go. So let's get in the truck and uh, I'll pick back up wherever we are. Well, we are here to pick up Fred. We're gonna talk a little bit more about this, but let's get it loaded up and get it home. And a uh, huge thanks again to Danny. Definitely check him out, Slow Restoration. I think he's got a sticker here. Definitely check him out. I appreciate him kind of storing it here, even though it's not our intended purpose, but let's just get it loaded. Let's get it done. <laughs> Holy cow. <laughs> we did it. We, we did somehow it. finagled this out of like five total straps. I used a, I'm using the cables for the winch to hold the hood down. I uh, we, I didn't realize I had this much stuff here. Oh, yeah. I'm going to be honest. Yeah, <laughs> Danny, I'm sure did. So again, go follow Danny. Slow underscore restoration as you see on the screen here. But uh, we've got Fred loaded up. We got oh. Fred loaded up. We got the remnants of the van loaded up. We got yeah. the remnants of that truck loaded up. We've got a lot of stuff here and the avalanche is squatting pretty hard actually but i think it can handle it a little five three that could probably could have raised that up a little bit but yeah. eh. well i'm gonna hit the road because i don't really want to get pulled over it gets crazy around here right? <laughs> yeah definitely <laughs> but i appreciate it yep. coronavirus I got to throw that glove away. Yeah, I'm throwing my gloves away. We're, we're weird. We don't want to touch each other or anything. It's a weird world we live in. All right, let's get back on the road. Oh, this be a big old hill here. The old avalanche don't like this at all. I'm actually going to slow down because that tractor trailer, we're just going to stay behind him. I'm not going to get in front of him. Safety first. Alrighty, well, I've got to make the executive decision. You can tell it's get some sway. It's definitely, we're definitely a little overweighted. Alrighty, well, I got to actually make the executive decision now that I don't think, well, I know for a fact because I already made the phone call. We are not going to end up finishing this leg of the journey back to the house in this setup i called my buddy josh jpm tech definitely check him out uh he's gonna bring his dually down i mean i, I thought the avalanche could ha handle it but safety is a huge concern right now not only for myself but for other passengers and everything and you guys heard it here first i know you don't see a seatbelt on me right now but you heard it here first i am worried about safety and other people out here right now so i'm gonna call josh josh is actually gonna meet me at a sheets up here we're just gonna unload real quick and uh, toss the trailer on his dually and uh, well, we'll get this thing home safely. So I'll pick back up once we get to the sheets, um, but for now, just enjoy the road. All right, well, I've located the problem here. 
and as you can tell we are maxed out on the shock here on the avalanche so that's definitely why it's not liking the load that we have on here and everything so uh i think i made the right call by calling josh and uh having him come you know tow the fret the rest of the way home so i'm gonna go ahead and start unloading and everything for when josh gets here you can just back up be a quick easy process but uh yeah so that is definitely the reason why we can't go anywhere and uh, i like i'm saying I, I could drive it guys i just would rather be safe than sorry I don't want to destroy my truck. I don't want to kill anybody. I don't want to hurt anybody. It's not what I'm out here doing. I just want to, you know, do things safely nowadays. But we are still going to send it most times. But let me go ahead and get the uh, hitch and everything off here so that Josh gets here, backs up, we're good to go. And then we'll hit the road and go back home. All righty, well, we've got it disconnected and I'm pretty sure we see Josh rolling in over here. So again, guys, I need you to follow Josh. I need you to show him some support. Definitely saved me right now. I mean, I think we could have done it. I just wanted to be safe, like I said. So Josh is here. All right. I appreciate you. Dude, you're gonna see, like, when I show you the video, the shock was actually collapsed. Like, it was bottomed out. So that's why it was just riding on no shock and it just sucked. I just didn't want to hurt anybody or myself, so. All right, let's get it loaded up. <laughs> All right, obviously this is gonna be a much smoother trip. He can just get on the highway and rip versus me having issues or you know kind of struggling i don't want to struggle guys i'm i'm trying to do things the right thing the right way nowadays oh oh but let's get in the truck and uh get home Fred is home. Fred is home. He hasn't been here in probably six months, which is kind of weird, but he's here now. Let's get him unloaded. more a little more all right that's good wow I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bummed that I couldn't I couldn't pull this over 50 miles an hour. <laughs> little truck, dude, these old steel's heavy, dude. Definitely. The 64 was heavy bringing it back. Yeah. When I brought that back. Definitely, and for some reason, some of my lights were working sometimes and then not, so I gotta have a bad ground somewhere on the trailer, yeah, it unless so. it's a wire in there. But that's where we're gonna leave this video and the Fred Project is home. Um, nothing got hurt, nothing got uh, damaged or anything. So that is actually the main priority and the main objective of this entire day. So thanks again, Josh. Definitely check him out, JPM Tech again. But that's going to end the video. So there you have it. If you like the content, please smash that like button. Please subscribe. And uh, look at the avalanche down there just looking fresh. Some people hate the lights. I kind of like them. They're growing on me. I thought they were tacky at first, but I like them now. All right, take care, guys. We'll see you in the next one.